interpret data on the cardiac cycle. And the key used will be a solid red line for the ventricular pressure, solid black line for the atria pressure, a dashed red line for ventricular volume, and a dashed black line for the atria volume. So the cardiac cycle will last approximately 0.8 seconds and can be divided into three steps as we've seen in the previous lesson. Step number one, lasting approximately 0.4 seconds, atrial and ventricular diastole. Step two, lasting around 0.1 seconds, atrial systole. And step three, 0.3 seconds, ventricular systole. During step one, atria and ventricular diastole, the ventricles relax, pressure decreases. The semilunar valves close, remember, to prevent backflow. And now the atrial ventricular valves open. Blood begins to passively fill the ventricles, increasing their volume. And on the graph, as the ventricular pressure reaches its peak, step one begins. Now pressure begins to decrease and the semilunar valve closes. And as pressure decreases further, the atrial ventricular valve opens. On the graph below in blood volume, we can see that as the pressure decreases, the blood volume also decreases until the AV valves open, where by passive filling, both atria and ventricles will fill slightly with blood. In step two, atrial systole, we have a slight increase in ventricular pressure. This is due to passive filling. Then atria contract, further increasing pressure in both atria and ventricles. And we can see that on the graph during step two, where both atria and ventricular pressure slightly increases. And when we read the blood volume graph below, here we see that both atrial and ventricle volumes are increasing. In particular, the ventricle volume increases due to the contraction of the atria, which has ejected the blood from the atria, whilst blood continues to fill the atria from the pulmonary veins and the vena cava. So now in step three, the atria relax and ventricles contract. The atrioventricular valves close and ventricular pressure increases to approximately 120 milligrams of mercury, whilst pressure drops in the atria. During ventricular systole, the pressure opens the semilunar valve. Blood volume in the ventricles decreases. Blood pressure and volume in the atria increase, remember, because the atrioventricular valves are closed. And here on the graph, we see atrioventricular valves close. As the pressure increases in the ventricles, the semilunar valve opens. And the blood volume graph shows that as the pressure of the ventricles increases, the blood volume for ventricles decreases. So the events of ventricular systole in step three take place until we return back to step one and the semilunar valves close, atrial ventricular valve opens, and the cardiac cycle continues.